What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today, I'm going to be talking about some of the crazy things that are happening in GTA Online. We have things like people getting their garages blocked, not being able to kill players because they're in god mode, money lobbies, people getting banned for money lobbies, the return of UFOs, and even more. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of everything that's happening so that you and your friends can be better informed, and I'll even be giving you some of the ways to prevent it from happening to you, or in some cases, even how to get rid of some of these objects. Now this doesn't happen to everyone, but it seems like it's been ramping up in the last couple of days, especially because people have been sending me pictures on Twitter or asking me what's happening, is this new DLC, what is this? And this happens mostly in public lobbies with some of the stuff carrying over into private lobbies depending on what it is. The big thing that's been happening lately is garages being blocked by these big objects. Modders have found a way to spawn these huge objects in people's garages and it's been blocking people from getting to their cars, it's actually been blocking people when they spawn in their garages so they can't move at all and they actually have to kill themselves or find another way to access their garage like coming in from their apartment. Basically it's just a huge inconvenience. And even if they switch lobbies it sort of carries with them because much like the meteorites, ferris wheels and the UFOs before, these objects are being stored in the player's system cache and will usually continue to show up in your games unless you either turn off your console or clear your cache. For a better in-depth explanation on how this all works I actually made a video on it previously and I'll be linking that in the description below. Now this isn't the only thing that's been happening, there's been these money lobbies where people can you know drop up to $80,000 per second for people and definitely if you hear about this or one of your friends invite you definitely don't go because people are getting banned like crazy. I mean personally I never mod money or anything that's your choice but definitely don't go do them. Rockstar is cracking down hard and they're suspending people from Xbox Live and I assume PlayStation as well for two weeks. Now these money lobbies aren't as bad as the one that we had back in December. These are way more limited like I was saying in my previous video and it's not too much of a problem. Rockstar should be able to fix this soon. There's things like people doing just money glitches. People are getting in cheaters lobby like crazy. They're really cracking down. Another thing that people are encountering a lot is people in god mode. They're shooting at them. They can't kill them. It's quite annoying and if you do see this happen just leave the session or just play with your friends in a private session. In addition to all this, you know there's people changing characters or applying objects onto people to make them look weird, making players dance, and then there's also things like asteroid spawning, ferris wheels, the return of UFOs, they were actually gone but now they're back for a bit, pylons, and even windmills too. So it's been pretty crazy, the modders are getting a bit uh, crazy nowadays, and Rockstar is taking care of it so don't worry, but I did want to let you guys know what's happening, what's happening in the GTA Online community, sort of this little problem that's going on in public sessions. If you want to avoid all this stuff, like the asteroids, ferris wheels, UFOs, pylons, that thing in your garage, public sessions are probably not the best idea right now, I'd just play an invite only with your friends, until Rockstar fixes it, which should be pretty soon. Also, if you're scared about being banned or anything because of those money lobbies, if you join one by accident or if, you know, somebody's just giving you money, don't spend it. Especially be sure to not share the money or else that's like a one-way ticket to get banned. And just don't try and get it into one. So guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully I gave you some insight into what's happening in these public sessions in GTA Online. Again, it's pretty limited to where this is happening, but I have noticed it ramping up a bit. And I thought I'd make a video just to keep everyone in the loop. And if this has happened to you, just to explain what's happening. What I want to know is, have any of these things happened to you? And which one of these things was it? Be sure to leave a comment below. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to press that subscribe button. And also be sure to check me out on Twitter at twitter.com slash typicalgamer. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out.